In many ways, the SSCS5s remind me of the heyday of bookshelf speakers back in the 80s and 90s, and speakers like the Baby Advents that had a very small footprint, but had a decent uh, low end and then very, very smooth high end. So it was a great sounding speaker. But anybody who's followed Sony over the years knows that um, their speakers are not legendary. They're not something that um, across the world people typically purchase. But in this particular case, I think the SSCS5s are an excellent entry into the bookshelf market. The enclosure itself is an uninspiring rectangular design that's clad in vinyl. Now, even though the enclosure itself is actually made out of wood, that vinyl covering gives it a sense of cheapness. And I feel like a wood grain finish would have been nicer and uh, would have looked uh, actually more high-end than what they uh, Sony decided to use in this particular case. And then once you look at the grill, it's not better. It's a cloth grill. Um, it doesn't look of uh, any particular quality and it doesn't really give you that feeling that this is a premium pair of uh, speakers. But remove the grill and you're looking at a very handsome face. The three drivers are quite attractive and when exposed give the set a much more contemporary feel. The cabinet is a three-way design featuring a three-quarter inch super tweeter that's good up to 50 kilohertz and then a one inch tweeter and then a five inch woofer good down to about 53 hertz. There's also a port directly behind the woofer which of course is of necessity when you have a woofer of that size. I auditioned the speakers in two different locations. One was on the ground where they definitely benefited from the uh, extra base that is reinforced from actually putting the speaker onto the ground. And then in another instance, I actually had them on stands. And I have to say from the two different locations, I think the location on the floor produced the most well-rounded sound. So uh, I think these speakers are going to do better on a bookshelf as they're designed for or anywhere where they're going to be able to use the things that are surrounding it to reinforce the bass information. I connected the speakers to a two-channel amplifier and fed the optical output of my Apple TV to the receiver. I basically used vocal tracks to test out uh, the response of the system. And I have to say, uh, as usual, the high end was too much. And anybody who's listened to uh, Sony speakers will know that that's the case, is usually the high end is, is uh, far too pronounced. Uh, but after making some adjustments to the equalization inside of iTunes, I was able to get a very balanced sound out of the speakers. And so I, I think it was satisfying and it was uh, very uh, enjoyable to listen to. It was sufficient high end, of course, and then the uh, bottom end, although not extremely extended, was uh, provided a nice, well-balanced sound. But what I think is particularly impressive about these speakers is without using any kind of uh, internal onboard electronics or an outboard processor, Sony has been able to create a sound stage that is amazing in uh, the, its ability to actually wrap sound around the listener. Um, I was actually listening to the speakers in the same room as my reference system, and there were times when I actually had to check to make sure that I didn't have my rear speakers turned on because that sound field felt as if it wrapped around me. It almost sounded as if sounds were coming from behind me. And, and, and this is actually no joke at all. It, I was extremely impressed with the ability of these two little small speakers to create this expansive sound stage. Um, not only was the sound stage expansive, but then the vocals were right in the middle. So here you have this, this beautiful uh, vocals that you're, that you're hearing, and then wrapped around that is the entire soundstage of, uh, of music. And so to me, this is the most impressive uh, accomplishment of these particular speakers. Yes, the sound is balanced. Uh, yes, the sound is good once you do some equalization tweaks. But that ability to be able to make that soundstage so expansive with just a three-way speaker and no outboard electronics is truly impressive. As strictly a bookshelf speaker, I think they satisfy all the requirements. They're small and they have a well-balanced uh, sound and will fit just about anywhere in your home. But when you add the articulate vocals and the immense sound stage that Sony has been able to coax out of these speakers, I think these are gonna satisfy not only the casual listener, but also more disc discriminating listeners. So I think uh, Sony has hit a home run with these speakers 
And I think for their tiny little size, um, they're gonna make anyone who installs it into their system very happy.